so much of, of, of the acting for the screen is not so much the acting as reacting. The, the, an interesting thing about Alec Guinness, which, which, which is marvelous, with most ordinary actors or actresses that, that are talented but are not great, you stay on them whilst they're talking. And then when they finish talking, everything goes. They're just watching, and you have to cut away. You cut away to whoever else is talking. Mostly those are actors that you get from the stage, because on the stage you can get away with murder. You can say your speech beautifully, be magnificent, and then whilst the other person's talking, you can be thinking, I must go into the market this evening before I get home. Because I really, I really, if I don't get some, you know, this, that, and the other. And you know what the other person's saying. And when the other person gets to the end of his line, you say, oh, well, I don't agree with that at all. And you can get away with that on the stage, even if we're in the front row of the stalls. But on the screen, you, that's the magic of film. You know what's going on behind those eyes. W when you're not speaking, you really got to be listening. Now, when you get an actor like Guinness, He's finished his speech. It's important that you have the speech from over here, but you can't get away from it. Because there you are, and this man is so marvelous listening that you find yourself playing most of the scene on him, even when the other people are talking, because he fascinates you more. Now, I don't know what it is, because he doesn't make faces or anything like that, but there's something that comes from inside there that, that grips you and holds you. And, and it's amazing how, how often you get actors who come up and say, well, I think that was a bit mean. I, you know, all my dialogue is played over Alec, you see. <laughs> now, you can't very well say to him, well, I'm afraid Alec was better saying nothing than you were saying a lot. <laughs>